Hey guys, today I'm gonna to show you guys a super easy way to have some fun with color and dish soap and a straw. You're gonna need some cups with water, not too much water in them, I just have my Dixie cups here filled about halfway full. You're gonna need some food coloring, a straw, and some dish soap. The first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna take your dish soap and you're gonna put a couple drops or just a little bit in each of your water cups. Again, my water cups are only about a halfway full of water. Then I'm gonna put a couple drops of color in each cup. And that's just gonna help to make that, this water have some color to it. Then I'm gonna mix it up with the straw okay if they mix together too. So I'm going to set one to the side. I'm going to test out this blue first. If I blow bubbles into it, the bubbles will start to come up the cup and I can test the color on these pieces of paper. So now that you've made your watercolor with bubbles in it, there's a lot of fun things you can do with it. You can blow bubbles in that watercolor and dip your paper into it and it starts to make a bubble texture on your paper. If you blow the bubbles and they kind of come out, you're going to end up with a big puddle of colors and sometimes that doesn't really work like you want it to. So I would dip your paper. And you can layer your colors that you're dipping to. You can also take that watercolor and put your finger on the straw to kind of cap it off. You'll trap a little bit of straw, a little bit of watercolor at the bottom of the straw, and you tap that out, and you can blow abstract lines with that. Sometimes you get a bubble going too. make some bubble art. Another thing you can do with your abstract art is you can use a toothbrush, an old toothbrush, probably not one that you're already using to brush your teeth, and you can flick different paint on there, kind of like this, and it makes little splatters like that. And so there's lots of different ways you can play with mark making just with that watercolor where they learn how to make and some bubbles. Thanks guys, we'll see you later.